Hey everyone, I'm Exit Sign 250. In this video, we will be setting off three different types of fire sprinklers. And not only that, but one of my fire alarm demo systems will activate once a sprinkler is activated. Before we start, I just want to show you how everything will work. Out my driveway, you can see the setup. The demo consists of half inch PVC pipes and fittings. A garden hose connects to this adapter, then goes through this device. The device is called a flow switch, and this is how the fire alarm system knows when the sprinkler system has activated. All a flow switch does is when water flows through a pipe, a set of contacts are closed. Think of it as a light switch or a pole station. The flow switch acts the same way, but only when it detects water is constantly moving through a pipe. Here's how it all works. The flow switch is installed on the pipe closest to the water main or water supply. It's then wired into the fire alarm system. From the flow switch, pipes travel to all of the fire sprinklers. When a fire occurs, a sprinkler will activate releasing water. The water in the pipes go from standing still to moving very, very quickly and out of the activated sprinkler. The flow switch notices water is now moving and after a few seconds will activate. Once the flow switch activates, that causes the fire alarm system to activate. Typically, flow switches for fire sprinkler systems look like this. However, they can be pricey. I didn't really want to spend that much for my little demonstration setup, so I bought an inexpensive flow switch for some sort of pool pump system. The flow switch will behave the same way as a normal fire sprinkler flow switch. The wires then go to my room and connect to the fire alarm system. From there, the pipes run to different locations for different styles of sprinklers. The fire will be going inside here. And I also have a water fire extinguisher on standby if something were to go wrong. At the fire alarm demo system, the wire comes in from outside and is wired in place of a pull station. The panel is programmed to give a water flow alarm when one of the sprinklers activate. Also, the coating of the horn will change each time I set up a different sprinkler, just for fun. Oh, and if you want to see more of this system in detail and some of the others I have, check out one of the system test videos I made of it. Something else I wanted to do in these tests is to see which fire sprinkler activates the fastest, and extinguishes the fire the fastest. With all the explaining out of the way, let's get into the test. The first type of sprinkler we'll be activating is called a pendant sprinkler. Pendant sprinklers are one of the most common styles of fire sprinklers. It's mounted on the ceiling and either flush or visible on a pipe. These particular pendant sprinklers were manufactured by a company called Azcoa. I believe they're out of business now. You can see the red glass bulbs vary in size. Sprinklers with smaller bulbs are considered quick response, all sprinklers with larger bulbs are considered standard response. These heads are rated to activate at 155 degrees Fahrenheit or 68 degrees Celsius. We'll activate this sprinkler. I just have this little disc on it called an escutcheon just because I think it finishes the look. With the pendant sprinkler installed, let's turn on the water and light the fire. A quick disclaimer, don't play with fire if you don't know what you're doing. Fire is dangerous and can get out of control quickly. I've done many fire demos like this over the years and I know what to do and how to respond. You can see that there's multiple camera angles for the setup. One position at the fire sprinkler itself, one at the fire, one at the fire alarms, one at the fire alarm panel screen, and finally the whole setup. I also have a timer for how long it took the sprinkler to respond and how long it took for it to extinguish the fire. Let's begin the first test. Now that the fire's out, let's shut off the water and silence the fire alarms. A 
I think this sprinkler activated fairly quickly, however it took it a while to fully extinguish the fire. It did a good job at preventing the fire from growing, but it seems the fire only went out since it couldn't spread anymore. Still a success. With the pendant sprinkler activated, let's move on to the next type. Next up, we have a sidewall fire sprinkler. Like the name suggests, it's designed to be installed on a wall rather than a ceiling. You can see the differences in deflectors from the sidewall sprinkler and the pendant ceiling sprinkler. These sidewall sprinklers are made by a company called Rasco, or Reliable Automatic Sprinkler Company, and they'll activate at 155 degrees Fahrenheit. The sidewall sprinkler is installed, the water is on, and the fire alarm system is in normal condition. My question is, Will the sidewall sprinkler activate quicker than the pendant? And could it extinguish the fire faster too? Let's find out. Wow, the sidewall fire sprinkler extinguished the fire almost instantly, but it did take the same amount of time to activate. Either way, the sidewall sprinkler controlled the fire perfectly. I wonder if the next type of sprinkler will be able to extinguish the fire faster, or even activate faster. Time for the last sprinkler. Last but not least, the upright fire sprinkler. These sprinklers are the opposite of the pendant sprinklers. Instead of facing down, they face upward, but still spray water downward. The upright sprinkler is installed on top of the pipe. Usually, upright sprinklers are installed in areas with exposed ceilings. You can see the glass bulbs in these upright sprinklers are green. That means they will activate at 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius. If you didn't already know, fire sprinkler bulbs are color-coded to indicate what temperature they activate at. This should give the pendant and sidewall sprinklers an advantage since they activate at a lower temperature. However, I have both the quick response version and the standard response version of these upright sprinklers. I'm going to try to use the quick response version so maybe it can be a bit more fair and maybe even activate a little faster, but we'll have to see. Also, these sprinklers are produced by Rasco as well. With the upright sprinkler installed, the water pressure on, the fire alarm system ready, let's light the fire.
Well, uh, oddly enough, the upright sprinkler activated before the pendant and sidewall. That's really strange since it's rated to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, while the other two are rated for 155 degrees. Again, this is a quick response type, but I didn't think it would beat the others activating at a lower temperature. Similar to the pendant, it couldn't put out the fire quickly, only preventing it from growing. All of the fire sprinklers have been activated and each successfully extinguished the fire or controlled it enough to be put out. Time to rank them. In first place for quickest activation was the upright sprinkler. I wouldn't have ever thought this one would have responded faster than the other ones since it activates at a higher temperature. In tie for second place, we have the pendant sprinkler and the sidewall sprinkler, both activating at the same time. I figured the sidewall would have a small lead since it was a quick response type. Lastly, let's rank the sprinklers for quickest extinguishment. In first place by far was the sidewall sprinkler. That was very impressive and even shocked me. The fire was practically out as soon as the sprinkler activated. In second place was the pendant sprinkler activating at two minutes. And in third place, only extinguishing the fire 10 seconds after the pendant was the upright. The results were very interesting. I didn't think they would play out how they did. This is why I love doing experiments. You always learn something out of it. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I really enjoyed making this one and I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Let me know what you thought. Also, would you like me to test more types of fire sprinklers in the future? Tell me in the comments. That's about it. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.